Hi guys, it's Tanya from Poor Girls Jewelry. It's time to invite you to my messy studio again. And today I'm making a simple pendants and chains. I love handmade chains. So if I have time to create, I always make a bunch of them. And then I add it to my projects. So today I did, I started this morning to making some earrings. And you can make exactly the same one too. You can dress them with any beads you want or, or leave them simple like this. You can add some dangle there. A pendant, you don't have to finish with a handmade chain either. You can use your commercial dawn chains, you know, it's all be cool too. So I will wrap today this tiny beautiful it's not really tiny it's actually big <laughs> with cute pearl and i will use thick wire you can use any wire you like i like thick for the pendant and thinner for my earrings so let's get started So let's clean a little bit table here. So I want to show quickly with the swirls how I add this. Um, long time ago I got this uh, cut of jams and I never really used them but I like how I use that in this design so I just put it upside down it's look like a little arrow almost and I use a few swirls and a little stick and I like that this is, can be flexible here. So that's one of the necklaces I did today. Let's put it on the side. So we will concentrate on this frame and making pendant out of that. So I use for the earrings. These are the wires that I use for the earrings. And I will measure them so you can approximately know how much material you want. It's uh, four inches. Before I use torch, after I use torch will be um, three and a half. See, um, I like to have a big bubble here. For the pendant, I have a piece of wire that I already use torch and it's five inches width including after the torching right so i will use this piece for my pendant and my favorite tool bail maker pliers i leave a little tail and i like to make it nice Bail. After I bend like this, I usually take my flat nose pliers and I rounded this part. So my this part will be flattened this way. And then I push the wire together. Then I like to measure it where the bubble ends and just push this wire on the side all the way. I know it's thick wire, so take a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And like these guys because it's interfered with the so yeah, so they are so you have the top and the wire go this way. Same same tool and on the larger just follow around go all the way sometimes it's look crooked so you can nicely gently go back much better 
and what I do is I try to see if it sits perfect if it uh, nice and then what I do is just go around that and I don't like to wire wrap tons of time I will cut right there for it and just nicely squeeze that so my wire will end right there just covering the little beautiful torched bubble we have that's it it's easy peasy this is thick wire but I still will hammer even if it looks a little bit crooked, you can always adjust it and you can also hammer it nicely. Let me hammer on my block. This will be my bit a little noisy. Okay, back. So that's what we have. And we just will simply add our pearl with 24 gauge wire. So we'll just add it a few wraps on one side and a few wraps on the other side. And the pendant is done. It's simple. It's the simplest pendant you can actually do without uh, worrying that it can go anywhere because the bail will not go anywhere. You just hug this with the other wire and if you nicely attach your gem, any gem. It can be nice gift for Christmas or holidays if you put the gem let's say pearl is June search for the meaning of your gemstones for your friends or your loved ones and you can make something uh, that could be very special for that person okay so I have that side and then I will add it a few wraps on the other side too and the pendant is really really easy and fast and done so you guys know that's that's the second part just wrap it now i want to quickly go through the chain or earrings because earrings is the same you just needed thinner wire so you can use 18 gauge or any gauge you want to use for your earrings and um, same story you just when you do two of them I would recommend when you bend them just bend two together use also torch because see this was not without the heat this one with the heat it's a big difference um, so I would recommend do them together shape them in the same time so you will have a perfect pair something like that and I in these earrings I hammer the sides I hammer this side and this side not like for the pendant I hammer all over the place like whole thing was hammered and you can texturize too you can use uh, different hammers and texturize for the earrings I just did on the sides both sides and then I add a swirl and a little bubble <laughs> I love that at the end um, what else the chains you can also make the swirly chain same way with the like when you add it to your earrings you can put like three then the open one some bones I just like to play with the wire and make something cool and different uh, let's let's quickly make one of the earring it will be the same if you do earrings just remember two of them the same you can mark where you want it how long they will be and that's actually I started wrong but could be like that too same way flatten the wire push your other wire in 
So measure where you want to have your circle and go around. Go around. When they meet, you just hug and cut. When you polish it, I like to have this. It's like a extra some details on your jewelry, you know. So even even earrings like simple like this, I think it will be nice too. We'll need all it needed. A little hammering from both sides. You can also hammer this part too and you will create beautiful earrings guys i hope this was helpful and sometimes i even running out of my ideas you know today i was just thinking what i should create what i should make all creation was back to my um same swirls and same ovals and same same sort of design i guess it's into me that's, that's my <laughs> that's my style thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Tuesday. Maybe I will finally create something different. Hope this video was helpful. Make some cute things. And I will see you next time, next Tuesday. Thank you, guys. Bye.